We are not keeping up with the combine. 12 tonnes a hectare for us. That is brilliant. Oh no, that's not good. I've just come out from swimming. As you can see, my hair's wild um, and it's raining. Our big plan was to go combining today. We have two full trailers behind us. Yeah. Uh, Bella and I are going to drive forward, tip them, and um, go and weigh them. I've tipped. Ben's tipping. Going to get out of his way in a minute. I just don't want to hit the roof. <laughs> it's actually time. It's time for the second combine to come out. I think we're going to be combining with two combines um, tomorrow. So I'm going to go diesel it all up so it's ready to go. Let's hope the weather stays nice. All ready for diesel. You can see on that screen it's flashing. So it's run out diesel. It's got enough out of blue. Let's hope I parked in the right place for the fuel. <laughs> it's hard to judge with the combine. We have made it to the field now, but the combine's not here. So we're going to have to wait for a minute. Oh, we didn't. Unless they're in Ben's trailer. Ben, we'll go have a look. This is immense, this wheat. It's coming off so well. It's a little bit, a little bit damp, but so, not something that we can't sort in the, in the, in the grain store. Thing is, if we leave it, it'll lose its quality. <laughs> Landing on the discovery. Can't you catch it? We are not keeping up with the combine. 12 tonnes a hectare for us. That is brilliant. Second load, we've got four crane carts on and we can't keep up. So I've just got back to the yard because I've been tipping in a different place. Um, and we've just realized that no one has been pushing up. So I'm gonna have to get on the JCB and do, you know, a good 10 minutes of pushing all the grain up so we can get in. Okay, so I'm gonna be busy on pushing the grain up because you can see we've had quite a few loads tipped in here but as you know we can get one two three probably more in before it takes up all the room so let's pile it back up now i've got the big grain pusher on oh you've got to be so careful with this because it literally hits everything and anything okay that's pushing up done real fast time to get back in the tractor and head off i can hear it i can hear it i can hear it here comes the combine ready steady tractor first oh this could be testing for mike see if he can get this in because this dolly is such a nuisance i have to say it is hard i've only just mastered it myself here comes a combine though Mike reversing the trailer. All he needs to do is go backwards and then he can drive in. Here he goes. You got it. He's got it. Combine. One in the gearbox. Showtime, man. <laughs> no spillages. You're on camera, Ben. Get it right at the back.
package. Is it? It's starting to get dark now. It's nine o'clock and we're still going and we've just started a massive field. We're definitely be go going to be going into the late hours of the morning. Okay, so my trailer's parked there, but seeing all the grain trailers came at once because we had to move, I said I'll go in the pickup and get the cones because we had to put some out the other day, yesterday, uh, this morning, sorry, because it's really busy road and um, we need to pick them up now. So I thought I'll go quickly, open the shed where the combine's gonna go. So when we finish, we can actually just go home. Open this big roller door, but it is, you have to pull it by hand. So let's hope I can pull it myself with all my body weight. Managed to get that open, shutting the gates now. It's all a bit spooky here at night. I've just been stopped by an ambulance because they said, what are you doing getting the cones out of the middle of the road? Be careful. I was like, oh, thank you. That's very kind of you to stop. They just saw the hazards because I put the hazard lights on um, and they thought I was in trouble. But I only put them on so people don't crash into me. <laughs> oh, well, that was fucking... There's no trailer lights, so we're just fixing them. Lucy's got cold, so she had to put a jumper on. Bless her. It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> 16 degrees, Lucy's got cold, the whole jumper's come on. <laughs> Let's go home. We might have to come back yet, yeah, and it's a two hour haul, but we're going. Oh, <laughs> Lucy's got four lights back. Cool, Lucy's lights are a bit much in my face. It's now 11 o'clock at night, and I've got to go back for another two hour round trip. Oh. I really don't want to, I just want to go to bed, but I have to, to get the harvest in, unfortunately. I'm going to be very exhausted because I've got to get up very early in the morning and cut my maize maze out because I've got a machine that's going to do it and it's going back tomorrow. It's now 1am and we are just starting to finish up, but I've still got a good long haul left. I've been thinking on this journey, there's no other industry that will work a 16 hour, 17 hour shift no rest, no break, you know, no days off. So next time you are eating your food, don't forget to thank, thank a farmer because we are working tirelessly during the harvest to get this food in, to get it at the right quality, to make a living. So thank a farmer for doing this. There really isn't any other industry that would work a double shift just like normal. So yeah, just got home. I'm exhausted now. I'm ready for my bed. However, I won't be able to sleep because when I go from a tractor straight to bed, I get all like wobbly and then I have dreams that I'm going to crash the tractor because I've basically been in it for way too long. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're home now. So good night, I will see you in the morning. I have, I did have some things I need to, well, was going to tell you today, but um, it's a bit late now. So I just want to go to bed. Don't know about you, so good night. <laughs>